Hey there, Ventex here. Welcome to Core Keeper. This is a game that just came out in early access. The best way I've heard this game described is a mixture of Stardew Valley and Terraria. So in this game we're exploring an endless cavern with creatures, relics, and resources. It's a big old mining sandbox that you can play with actually up to 8 other people. Well, I guess 7, including yourself. So you want to mine, build, fight, craft, farm, fish, do all that good stuff to unravel the mysteries of the ancient core. Let's go ahead and get started. World 1. We got a little save icon. Ooh, that jelly looks pretty good. Let's go... We'll just go with the little guy right here, the little blue guy. World name, we'll just go with Ventex. Sure. Standard or hardcore? So hardcore is if you die, you're dead. All your stuff is gone, pretty much that's it. But standard is pretty much the standard way of playing. And since we don't know anything, we'll go ahead and start with that. All right, here's our guy we just made. So I'm trying to decide on the background. So we have the explorer here. The explorer is an experienced traveler who always brings a few torches. So you start with three running skills, one small lantern, and three food rations. Then we got the miner, three mining, one copper pickaxe, Spider, three melee, one copper sword. Chef, three cooking, one cooking pot. Gardener, three gardening skills, one copper hoe, and a watering can. Fisherman, three fishing, one wood fishing rod and food rations, and a nomad. You don't go you don't get nothing. What's the point in that? But all the possibilities. I think I'd rather start with some perks. I think what we'll do is we'll probably go with a miner because I feel like the pickaxe will be great because we're in a cave, a cavern. So we're probably going to be doing a lot of that. So let's go with that. In a place far away from anywhere else. You are part of a group of explorers making your way through the forest. Feeling a strange presence, you notice something between the trees. Drawn to it, you approach this strange relic and raise a hand towards it. Upon touching its surface, a blinding life engulfs you. Okay, here we are. All right, here's our little guy. So we got our three food rations and our pickaxe here. So you just, looks like I press, can I press I for inventory? I don't even know the controls tab. Let me move that to number one for now. Food rations, I'll move over here so I don't actually use one. We have our character, we have a head, shirt, and pants. Looks like an amulet, two rings, hand, and a bag. We have torches that we can make out of wood, if we get wood. We have our wood pickaxe, we, we have a copper one, so that's gonna last us a lot longer. We probably need the wood shovel though, and we need to work on making a basic workbench. Health and food's up above. And we also have our skills. So we start with the three mining. We need more points in order to get some of these perks. So we have mining, running, melee, vitality, crafting, range combat, Gardening, fishing, and cooking. That burger looks pretty good. All right, so we have our map. So it goes out pretty far. This is as far scrolled as I can get, and this is as far close up as I can get. So from what I understand, we all start around this little core, but all the maps are gonna be random. So even if you type in my name, I don't think you'll get the same map. Looks like it needs energy. What is this? Is this wood? That is wood, okay. Oh, I probably don't want to use my axe on that. That probably takes away the durability now that I think about it. Well, we definitely need to get some wood so we can make some torches, I imagine. I really enjoyed Terraria. I hope this game is like that. That'd be cool. 
Especially because I don't think the devs are going to do anything else with Terraria. I think they're moving on to other projects. So a Terraria light game would be a little bit neat. Let's make a whole bunch of torches. Let's just use all. Actually, how much? Let's use 84 and then we'll make a workbench as well. Okay, right click the place. Okay, so this is where I can make copper stuff on this workbench. A small lantern, I would like that. We need four copper bars and a slime, five slime. Watering can, that'd be nice for when we farm. Furnace, probably needed for make the copper, obviously. Cooking pot. Chest are probably going to be really handy. Tin workbench, copper anvil. Salvage and repair station. And we got walls and floors because we have to make a little base. All right. Well, let's start out with our torch here. What is this right here? So right click to place it. Since I one shot this, I'm just going to use my hands. I don't want to waste my pickaxe. I get through it pretty quick, so there's no point. Can I take mushrooms? Ooh, there we go. Nine food. 2.1 health every second for 20 seconds can be cooked. But it's a perfect snack on the go. We got some root seed as well. Once planted, it spreads roots in every direction. So this is, I guess, how we can make more wood. More wood needed, but we have to plant it, I guess. So what is this? This is the Gorm the Devourer. Crystal slot, and there are some bricks there. I don't know what that does. Something for us to figure out together. We also have this right here. I'm going to put this right there. What is this? Glurch the Adominus Mass. So maybe we have to fight bosses and put stuff around there and unlock some secrets that way? I don't know. This is more stuff for us to figure out together. What else do we got? We also have the Hive Mother. Okay. More mushrooms to snack on. Delicious. Alright, let's go... I guess we have to start digging, right? So, let's go down. Ooh, the wall's all jelly. It's a dirt wall, so we got dirt wall. Nice. I wonder if we should make a shovel. The shovel is probably better in this situation. Uh, shovel for dirt, right? I mean, you think. That's what I would think, at least. Okay, what's over here? There's some ores here, I think. That's what's shining. So, for what I understand, like in most mining games, no, it's taking longer for the shovel, actually. I figured shovel and dirt, you know, just makes sense. The pickaxe is way faster. So we probably want to do like little mining like shafts down each way to maximize like in most mining games. Uh-oh. I got rid of my light. I wonder what happens if I go out from the darkness while I die. I'm sure if there's enemies around. Oh, we got plus one mining. Ooh, what's this over here? Looks like another opening. It just keeps going on, doesn't it? I do see some more glowing this way, and there's some water over here. I'm interested in going this way. Torch down. Okay, we got... What is this? Copper? Alright, we made it to the water. Obviously, probably some good fishing over here. I see stuff in the water. Like where the bubbles are. I think that's the fishing nodes, maybe. What is this? 50% less movement speed. Let's see what's over here. Is that a slime right there? What do I get? A heart berry. A sweet, juicy berry that refreshes the body. Okay. There's something over there. Let's go explore. Let's get through this dirt. Plus one mining. That's what I like to see. 
There's something glowing here, too. Alright, let me put a light down. Uh-oh. Turned off the light. Okay, we got another heart berry. What is this? Copper? Oh, these are boxes, I think. A crude bomb, scrap parts, fiber, lots of wood. Wait, what's that other thing we got? Scrap parts, okay. Bombs, fiber, heartberry seed. Okay, I'm gonna put some torches down. I see slimes over there. There's a lot of slime jelly, too. I see slimes above me. Uh, one more torch, maybe right here. Ooh, ancient gemstone we got. An ancient gemstone. Strange blue gemstone em emanating waves of energy. We got more mushrooms to snack on. How's our food, by the way? 50. How much does our food ration restore, I wonder? 12, so probably need to eat those. How do I eat it? Oh, right click. Duh. There we go. And now I got increased in damage and health because I'm well fed. Oh, that's cool. Caveling bread. Hmm. 36 food. Dang. We got a glow tulip. Now let me put my torch down. Probably gonna fight those slimes here in a second. Let me just collect the other goodies over here. I know I need slime material though for some crafting. So they're gonna have to die. I like how the walls like jelly. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Anything else over here? Let me put one right there. And we'll put one right here. Oh, that's a boss. No wonder. Alright, let's kill this slime, maybe. Oh! No, watch out! Well, we're, we're still new, so I don't know how much damage we take. I'd rather not find out. Alright, we killed one slime. Alright, oh! Kill it! Get it! There we go, another slime ball. What is this wall? Is that sand? Yeah, that's a sand wall. Okay. More slimes. Let's get them. Come on. Got him. Ew, a bug. Oh, I squashed it. Double hit. Uh oh. You gotta remember I move slower in the slime, too, so I gotta be careful. What is smoking? There'd be something in the water. What's over here? Let's go around real quick. Anything interesting? Nope. Just goes all the way around. That looks a. Uh, oh no, that's water. Ooh, look at the reflection. That's pretty sweet. Can't wait to do some fishing. Oh, I got plus one on my running, too. Just for passively moving. Torch. It feels like, sort of like Minecraft in Terraria. Oh, another slime. Let's take care of him. He don't even care. There we go. Got him. Let's go ham on him. Non-stop attacking. Okay, there is more chest over here. Oh, we got a cave pouch. What is a cave pouch? Five inventory slots. Oh, I like that. Oh, another gemstone. More copper ore. Let's get a light out here. I'll we'll put one right here. We'll come over here and put another one. Stick this out a little bit. I noticed that we're going to do some tunnels, but right now we're busy exploring. Oh, more chest. 
There we go. I got a little bit of something, something. Oh, this just keeps going, doesn't it? Oh, look at those big mushrooms over there. Now that's a snack. This game is pretty charming. It's not too much either. It's like 12 bucks right now, early access. So far, it's got really great reviews. People saying that you can easily put over 50 hours into the early access that's here right now. I'm interested in seeing this game grow too. Oh, look, that looks like it's something. An old amulet. What is that? Brittle stone jewelry, too small to be worn by a human. Okay. Well, that's cool. You can find stuff buried too. It had like a little X on it. Wait, what is this? Oh, that's a plant. I thought it was an enemy. I'm about to get ready to fight. Okay, lots of wood. Can't wait to start building the base. Let's put another lantern. Oh, there's another dig spot. Hold on, let's be careful. So far, all I've found was slimes, but there's definitely going to be some harder enemies along the way. Mushroom, 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 and that... Lots of ores. Take as much copper as I can get. Is that wood? Yep. Okay, and it keeps going down here. Let me take this. A bomb pepper. Oh, and there's another dig spot. Ooh, a triangle trinket. What is that? Strange gold piece vibrating with energy. Turf wall. Bomb pepper. Minus 11 health. Can be cooked. Ooh. Might save that for a recipe. Dig this little hole. What we get in that one? Hard to tell. Something that we already have, I guess. Put another torch down here so I can see that I've been here. Ooh, we got some more... More little crates here. Bomb. Alright. Let me go ahead and break up this wood real quick. Come on. Let's go this way. I need, <laughs> I need to not go too far from my base. I'm getting lost. I'm getting sidetracked. There's just a lot to explore right now. Everything's new, exciting. Ooh, more copper. And now we got sand wall. Alright, let's head on back. Don't want to get it too far away from where my home is. Let's go up and around. The music's nice as well. Ooh, or Sweet. Looks like there's some right here, too. Another running. New talent point available. Okay, so... Tab, skills. Oh, here we go. Running talent point. So, we can get right here, enhanced, or endurance runner. Plus 5% less food drain when running. Okay, so we have to wait to get some of this stuff after we unlock this one, it looks like. We can also get plus 2% mining damage. We'll take that. Alright, let's... Continue on. It looks like we can get to that big mushroom through here. Put a torch. Oh, a little opening. Oh, nice. More stuff. I like stuff. Take that. Take the big mushroom. Giant mushroom, new item. I knew I wanted it. I wonder what is here. It's gotta be some kind of fish that's down there, right? I know it's a little dark. I don't need to see you right yet. Oh, there's something else glowing. 
I know I said to go home, but I'm getting distracted. <laughs> That's okay. That's what these games are meant to do. Oh. It's like there's a bunch of ore here. More mining. I like that. We need to start making more copper stuff. We need to make another copper pickaxe soon. Alright, I'll put that there. Let's go back this direction. I think that's good enough for right now. Let's get the wood. Any other resources in these crates? So much wood. I'm sure that's good. Lighting looks pretty nice. Let's go here. Oh, there's my base. Okay, shortcut. Perfect. All right, so we can go ahead and make a furnace, which I think I will. It only takes dirt to make a furnace. Uh, let's see. Furnace. We put you right here. So I do need to smelt some copper. Here we go. Getting it going. It seems powered down. Yes. We can make a chest. I'm gonna make two chests right now. I feel like we're gonna need a lot more, but two should do it for the time being. Let me go ahead and dig this out right here. We'll put the chest along the wall. Perfect. Okay, so I go up to it and press E. Put some of this. Oh, we are hungry. Let me eat this. Sand wall. Lots of wood. Dirt wall. Let me see. A bomb. Strong explosive for crowd control and facing giant enemies. Giant mushroom can be cooked. We got a lot of seeds here. I definitely want to keep my seeds in a chest. Seed. Here's a seed. Here's a pepper. Uh, what else do we got? Turf wall. I don't know if I need that. Old amulet. Fiber. We got scrap metal as well and some other bombs. Okay, some flowers can be cooked. And slime. Alright, let's go ahead and eat this guy. They gave us a lot of food. We got tons of mushrooms, thankfully. It'd be nice, though, if we cook it. Let me see what I can do about that. So, so far we got 13 copper. Not bad. Come over here. We can make a anvil. I think that's probably a priority. We can make a lantern. Ooh. I'm sure a lantern is going to be nice. We don't have to use torches as much, right? There we go. Put in that offhand. Yeah, I guess that's the only place it goes. Well, that works out for me. And here is the anvil. Let's go and put the anvil by the smelter. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. Okay, more copper. So here we can make copper helmet, breastplate, and pants. We can also make wood. I think we'll wait for copper. Because we're not too far behind. We can get copper pretty easily. And it sucks to make wood. And just immediately discard it. Because we can upgrade so quickly to copper. Okay, we can also make a watering can. And a hoe. We definitely need to start farming at some point. Here's a cooking pot. I'm sure that's going to take priority as well. Let's go ahead and put our cooking pot right here. So we can actually cook our mushrooms, it said. See how that works. Do we need wood? No. Cooking food, uh, cook food to start recipes. Oh, look at this. And you can actually shift click to get multiple. What is it making? Huh. So you can combine different stuff just as a kind of experiment. So we got some mushy mushroom soup. That sounds delicious. 
I know I got some other stuff. Let me try some of the other stuff real quick. Here. Oh, uh, did I put it in the chest? Yeah, I think I put it in the chest. Let me try these peppers. I got these flowers here. And I got this giant mushroom. Plus 25 permanent max health. Holy crap, that sounds nice. That sounds real nice. Alright, let me try... Let me try a pepper. Actually, let me try a pepper and a flower. Those are both green. Wonder what we get. A pepper and a flower. Oh, we got some spicy tulip salad. 21% increased movement speed, and we got glow. Okay. What if I do this? A big mushroom and a tulip. What we get? What do we get? A giant tulip salad. Okay, I should have known. Look at that. Permanent max health, though. That's going to be so nice. Oh, this is so cool. I like that. I like the cooking element. Let's go ahead and make more mush mushy soup. This gives you a lot of food. 20 food. That's cool. I like that. All right, let's go ahead and check out our smelter. Done smelting. So I could make some armor, I think. If I can click on it, there we go. Yeah, I could make some armor, but I think I'd rather make like another pickaxe for sure, and a shovel. Oh, I could probably scrap this at some point, right? There is a sword, a shovel, and a hoe. A salvage and repair station. That's what I was thinking about, about salvaging it. Let's try that. Okay, for salvage and repair. I'm going to put that right here. Salvaging. So I can salvage this, right? Oh, I, could, I repaired it. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. I salvaged it for scrap. What about you? Salvage. More scrap. Excellent. How are we cooking? Pretty good. Can you smell what I'm cooking? Mushy mushroom soup. Now, I want to go ahead and start planting these seeds. I don't know how long it takes things to grow. But I'm assuming the sooner the better. I want to cook these as well. Here we go. Alright, so let's try this. So we have the hoe. Three... Two, three. Let me dig this out. Uh oh. So I can see what I'm doing here. All right, how's that? No, we're gonna do. We need more. Let's get it all the way perfectly squared off. All right, let's try this. So plant these. I wonder if they, like, cross-pollinate at all. I doubt it. I think, I think I'm thinking too deep. I need to reel it in. Okay, I did see a watering can. But I need more copper. I don't have enough. Alright, the cooking pot is done. Let's get our mushy mushroom soup. I also want to go ahead and put these in here. I want to see what this does. Heartberry. Maybe a hearty heartberry soup. <laughs> just uh just a guess off the top of my head oh we got a hearty berry pudding that looks delicious all right i'll take your pudding thank you very much you can make all kinds of recipes that's pretty cool just to experiment i'm sure there's like guys on the what's better but whatever we'll figure it out there's no rush this isn't like a min-max kind of game, really, necessarily. I guess if you want it to be. That's so more like a chill game. Just enjoy building. There's some boss enemies to kill. I need to fight one of those at some point. Yeah, it's pretty enjoyable so far. I need to get into that fishing. Ooh, another slime. We get my sword out this time. Oh, 41 damage. Oh, there's another one, too. 
Three shots, easy. Just one after the other. No problem. That one didn't drop me any slime. Let's dig down. There's more copper, it looks like. I want it. Just one. A little bit further. Oh, that's not it. That's hitting the wall with a mushroom. Hey, it works. There's something over here. Oh, I see it. Another flower. Ooh. Okay, let me go ahead. I gotta drop some of these torches down while I go. Getting a little too dark. Here we go. I see wood. Alright, let me break the wood without my pickaxe so it doesn't go away faster. Glow mushroom. We have more heart berries, it looks like. Mining. New talent point available. Let's not delay when it comes to our talent points. Let's go to our skills and put another one into efficient excavation. Plus 4%. So it looks like every five levels you get a little skill point. There you go. There you go. Here we go. A wood fishing rod. There we go. I wonder if there's baits as well. Now we can do some fishing. Oh, we got a mechanical part. Interesting. More copper. I like it. Put down some torches so we're not completely in the dark here. Oh, there's a dig spot. Uh, two dig spots. I didn't even see that because it's so dark. Wait, don't I have a lantern? I guess it's just maybe a, a little lantern. It's not as powerful as it could be. So I'm not getting that much light. Just enough. Okay, we got a seed. Another seed. That's good. I need to farm anyway. Break into here. All right. It's coming all the way around. Oh, probably want that, huh? That's why it's so bright over here. We got this flower. Doing all so much light. Another berry. Take it. All right, we got a whole lot of wood here. We need to make some more torches. You can click and hold just to make a whole bunch. Oh, I don't need to be using my pickaxe for the wood. The rookie move. We got more of these peppers. Oh, and there's iron right there, or copper. We'll probably get iron at some point. There's so many plants over here. Oh, we got seed that time. Oh, I got plus one gardening just for taking a plant out of the ground. A few more boxes here. Okay. And another torch. Maybe. A few more boxes over here. All right. Let's head up. Put some more ore into the smelter. I would like to go ahead and get that watering, watering can so that way I can start watering my plants. Have those growing up nicely. Alright, let's go ahead and pump the ores. Where are they? Here they are, 16 of them. Mechanical part, I wonder what that does. Probably put our rare items here. Ooh, a fishing rod. Definitely want to try that out. We got more seeds. A whole lot of more seeds. Holy crap. That's a lot of seed. Let's put our seed back. Over here. So many seeds. I'll take this. Let me do the bombs over here. Wall. Kind of organize a little bit. I'm gonna put up, oh, no, not there. 
think I'll put this guy right here. We have a peasant hat. I didn't even know we had a peasant ha hat. When did we get that? Probably out of the boxes, I imagine. Lots of plants. We might put our plants over here in this box with our seed. Sounds like a good call. Food's pretty low. Let's eat this giant one so we can get a lot of food and we can go ahead and get our max health raised permanently. All right, that should be enough copper to make a watering can. Let's see it. Nope, that's salvage. That's salvage. There we go. Watering can. And I need a 10 workbench, but I need 10 to do that. So I think that's all we can really make for now, except for floors and walls. We can make a bed. That's probably pretty important. Let's go put the bed down. Place to sleep also allows friendly inhabitants to move in. Oh, so we can have like NPCs just like in Terraria. That's probably not a great place to put it. Can I move that? Yes, I can. Nice. Put you right here. Nope. I'm going to put you just over here out of the way. Excellent. All right, watering can. I need to fill it with water, I imagine. Just a guess. Call me a genius. There we go. Just right-click the water. Got it. Easy. Come over here. We need to water our plants. We need to bring water to here. I wonder if we can somehow get water and bring it with us like a bucket. Like some sort of bucket mechanism. Here we go. Oh, a new talent point for running. So that's another point in endurance. Nice. Now, before we let off, I want to give the fishing a try. So I think this means there's fish here. How does this work? Oh, I see. Oh, I got away. Oh, okay. This is a little mini game we're going to have to figure out. I'm sure if I had a better fishing rod, that would help. Oh, you just gotta hold it whenever he stops freaking out, I see. If he freaks out and you do, I'm sure you can break your line. So close. Almost there. This is it. Got it. We got an orange cave guppy. Where is he? Oh, he can be cooked. Yes, he can. Let's go ahead and put him in a pot. Why not? Let me eat my mushy soup. Delicious. We are 5% max health, 5% movement speed, 5% increased damage, recovery, and of course, max health. All right, let's put a fish in here and let's put in there. Let's go with one of these mushrooms. Oh, that's not it. That's the uh, this right here. What are we getting? Fishy mushy soup. <laughs> Fishy mushy soup. Come on. I called it. Here we go. Orange mushroom soup. Dang, that's a lot less fun sounding. Mine was better as if I have to uh, humble brag there a little bit. Okay, looks like the plants are growing nicely. But I think we'll go ahead and end off this episode right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Core Keepers. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the Twitter and the Discord down in the description. And I'll see you guys next time.